we are working on a heat transfer problem and we have a, an air conditioned room where the temperature is kept always at 20 degrees Celsius. We have a person inside and it is being reported that at the exact same air temperature somebody could feel just comfortable during the summer but without changing the temperature, still keeping it at 20 Celsius, in the winter people can feel a bit chilly. So we're going to take a look at and investigate why could this be. Uh, yeah, sorry guys for this creepy guy over here. I was going for like a happy face or something. But every time I look at it, it makes me feel like he belongs in a horror movie instead. But anyway, let's get back to our heat transfer issue. So, what do we know? We know that in the summer, the temperature of the wall is 27 degrees Celsius, in the winter is 14. We also know that the exposed skin of the person is at 32 degrees Celsius. Now we know that the emissivity of the skin is 0 0.90. We also know that the convection coefficient for the air and the, between the air and the person it's gonna be 2 watts per meter square Kelvin and we're gonna have to find why are we having a temperature issue based on how we feel well that is related to how much heat do we gain or lose if we think of it uh, our body being a control surface right if we lose a lot of heat then we feel chilly. If we gain a lot of heat, we feel hot. So, can we calculate our, how much heat is being transferred in or out of our body? Well, we don't really have any areas given here, right? We, we don't have the surface area of the person, we don't have the surface area of the wall, so we can't really go and calculate our Q. But, we can go ahead and calculate what kind of flux is happening from the person. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna calculate based on convection how much flux is happening from the skin and also the flux due to radiation. And both of them we're gonna take a look at it in the winter and the summer. So first up let's take a look at convection and we're gonna analyze what kind of heat loss do we have due to convection. But again, we don't have area, so instead of heat loss, heat flux. What kind of heat flux do we have due to convection? Now here's our formula for convection, right? Flux of convection equals H times Ts minus T infinite. Now, the H is given, we can plug it in, Ts, Ts of the person, 32, and... T infinite is our air temperature, 20 degrees Celsius. Now we can go ahead, plug all these in, and we can see that we have a heat flux due to convection of 24 watts per meter square. Now, do we have to calculate separately for summer and winter? No. doesn't matter what uh, we have, what season it is. The air inside the room is always at 20. We don't alter that. So our convection in the summer and the winter is exactly the same. It doesn't change. Now our next heat loss method is radiation. So let's take a look at the heat flux due to radiation. What kind of heat flux does our body lose when we consider radiation in the room? Now... Let's look at the formula. The flux of radiation is emissivity, the Boltzmann constant, Ts, which is the person's surface temperature, minus the temperature of the surrounding, right? And that's going to be the temperature of the wall. That's the surrounding that surrounds the person. So, this T surrounding, we have two values for it. So, I'm going to go ahead and split my screen in two. And this way we're going to be able to calculate it separately for summer, separately for winter. Here's my Boltzmann constant, right? 5.67 times 10 to the negative 8. That's what we're going to plug in here. Everything else, let's see. Emissivity we have 0 
and both of these we have. So let's go ahead and calculate our flux. Here it is. I plugged everything in. Make sure you convert these Celsius that are given to Kelvin. This, this formula needs the values to be in Kelvin. Otherwise you're going to get weird numbers. And after we calculate, we can see that due to radiation, our flux is 28.3 watts per meter square in the summer. Now let's do the exact same thing, but for winter, using our winter data, we know that we have our surface temperature at 14, converted to Kelvin, there it is, 287 Kelvin, and once we calculate that, we can see that now we have a 95.4 watts per meter square. Now, let's just think of it. I'm going to box these and these. These are all our fluxes, heat fluxes that are leaving our body, right? So, there's no change in this one in summer or winter. So, this is the same. But if we look at these two, we can see a considerable difference, right? So overall, what's happening? From our body, we have two kind of heat fluxes, right? We have one flux due to convection. And we have another flux due to radiation. Now we need to add these two together to see what's happening at a given time. So if we add the convection and the summer, we can see that our total for the summer is 52.3. But if we do the same for the winter, then we'll see that it's 119.4 watts per meter squared. There you go. Now you can see that you uh, lose significantly more heat in the winter due to the cold walls.